Hi everyone, it's Dr. Hall with you again, and we're gonna do the middle mediastinum today. So I've started off with our descending aorta, our ascending aorta, our aortic arch right here. And now we're gonna try to put that a little bit more into three dimensions. So in order to do that, I need to bring the ascending aorta more anteriorly because that is coming out from the left ventricle. So what I've kind of brought in here is the left atrium and the left ventricle. And I'm going to also bring in the right atrium and right ventricle. So hopefully that will now stay in place. I think my left atrium is a little bit too big. It's gonna get in my way. All right, so now I'm gonna bring in another blood vessel and here's where things get tricky. I'm gonna bring in the pulmonary trunk, which of course branches into the left and right pulmonary arteries. That's actually the most anterior structure coming off of the heart, more anterior than the aorta. And the right pulmonary artery actually dives back behind the ascending aorta. So we have this kind of strange, twisty arrangement like so with the pulmonary trunk being the most anterior great vessel, the aorta is, ascending aorta is coming out posterior to it. All right, so we have right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle, and the atria have these little floppy ear-like appendages on them called auricles. Oracle, A-U-R-I-C-L-E, meaning of the ear, because somebody thought these looked like little ears hanging off of the atria. In between the atria and the ventricles, you have the coronary sulcus. A sulcus is a groove. We have one on each side, coronary sulcus. We also have an interventricular sulcus between the two ventricles. So the coronary sulcus is important because that's where we're going to find the right coronary artery. The right coronary artery branches off of the aorta and travels through the coronary sulcus between the right atrium and the right ventricle. So there's our right coronary artery. The left coronary artery, we can't actually see from this view. It's tucked behind the pulmonary trunk. But what we can see coursing down the interventricular sulcus is the left anterior descending artery, sometimes called the anterior interventricular artery. So left anterior descending artery is what's used more commonly by clinical folks or the LAD. And uh, anatomy folks sometimes use anterior interventricular artery, which is just describing where it's located. So now we're gonna add in some additional structures, some nerves and a really cool thing called the ligamentum arteriosum, which to me sounds like a spell you might learn at Hogwarts, but the ligamentum arteriosum is a remnant of a connection that used to exist between the pulmonary artery and the aortic arch. So when we were in utero, we actually had an open blood vessel called the pulmonary arteriosus that shunted blood from the pulmonary trunk directly into the aorta. Because remember, in fetal life, the lungs don't have any oxygen in them. So why bother sending all your blood out to the lungs when you might as well just send it right to the aorta and bypass that pulmonary circulation? So that is the ligamentum arteriosum right there. That ligament, that remnant of what used to be the ductus arteriosus between the pulmonary trunk and the aortic arch. We have some old friends that I'm gonna put in here, the phrenic nerves. You might remember they travel anterior to the root of the lung, so anterior to the pulmonary arteries, one on each side, those phrenic nerves coming from up in the neck and then going down and supplying the diaphragm. And now we have a new nerve, and we're just gonna do it on the left today. We'll do the right one, there is a right one, we'll do that one later. And that's called the vagus nerve. Vagus means wanderer. This is a really long nerve. It's gonna go really far. All right, 
So my phrenic nerve is anterior. The vagus nerve is gonna come down from the neck on the left, go over the surface of the aortic arch, and then go posterior to the pulmonary artery and travel along with the descending aorta. And what's really neat about that is that there is a nerve that branches off the left vagus nerve called the left recurrent laryngeal nerve. Recurrent means coming back again. And so that nerve, I'm gonna move my ligamentum arteriosum for a moment, branches off. So it's carrying fibers down the vagus, fibers coming down the vagus nerve, branch off, and it's like they say, oh no, wait a minute, we wanna go back. <laughs> And so it dives around the ligamentum arteriosum. That's where we're gonna find it. Scoops underneath the arch of the aorta and travels back up toward the larynx. Couple final structures are the pericardium. So the pericardium, we have the visceral, oh, 